Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for joining me today. So today I'm going to be talking about the different stages of e-learning adoption and in particular we're going to use AI as a specific example of the stages that we go through when we adopt any e-learning tool. So if you're interested in finding out more about the different stages we go through when we're learning about something new in terms of technology and e-learning then please keep on watching. So last year, I released this model and I talked about the different stages that we go through when we adopt any e-learning technology. And I thought with the kind of explosion of generative AI on the market, especially in the education field, I would reshare this model, but using examples of AI. So let me just move myself out of the way and what is the first stage? So you may have seen my model applied to just e-learning, but I'm going to be specifically talking about AI tools. So the first stage is survive. We go through the survival stage where we're just trying to look at what AI digital tools do we use, what which AI tools are useful for teachers and students. And survive is like the firefighting stage. We have to go through this stage when we're beginning the journey of any e-learning tool adoption. And this is when we're trying to find and choose AI tools, provide information to the school community, such as teachers, parents, students, and also non-teaching colleagues. So that first stage, it's natural or normal to go through some firefighting and to actually go through a survival stage. Now, the second stage after survival is strive. And so in the strive stage, we're then trying to now work out how do these AI tools work? What guidance do teachers and students need and parents and the school community? And what PD do teachers need on these tools? So this second stage in strive, it's teacher adoption and playtime. Teachers are given lots of time to play, use different digital tools. And I think it's really important. This is the stage when schools should be looking at digital citizenship with their students and also developing academic integrity and ethics protocols and netiquette. So looking at the big themes and ideas of teaching our students academic integrity and ethics and, and digital citizenship. So I don't necessarily mean a whole list of do's and don'ts, teaching our students how to use these AI tools with academic integrity and honesty. Now, the next stage is Thrive stage. And this is when we actually start focusing on the pedagogy. So in Thrive, we want these AI tools to enhance pedagogy, because if it doesn't enhance our pedagogy, if it's just going to be used as a substitution tool, in other words, create multiple choice questions, 100 multiple choice questions, and it's not transforming our pedagogy, then I don't think that we should be using AI tools for that particular purpose. So in the Thrive stage, it's really about continuing the professional development for teachers that actually focus on the pedagogy and enhancing students' learning. And how do we use these AI tools, digital tools, in a meaningful way to enhance learning, not just to continue what we've been doing for the last 50 years? How can it really enhance learning and transform pedagogical approaches that really focus on progressing in terms of a teacher's learning journey? Now, the fourth stage is the arrive stage. And this is like how we actually redesign an entire unit utilizing AI. But I have to stress, it involves the best pedagogical practices and maybe even previously inconceivable ideas. So using AI tools to include new pedagogies that were previously absolutely unimaginable. And when we arrive, that doesn't mean that's the end of our learning and our journey. Every time we come across a new tool, we go back to survive, or maybe we go back to strive. It's a constant cycle that goes back and forth between different stages. So this is my survive, strive, thrive, and arrive model that can be applied to e-learning adoption. I have spoken to some schools that have actually applied it to anything when it comes to professional development or a check-in, how teachers feel in terms of their well-being. Are they feeling they're in survive, strive, thrive, or arrive? I think it's a model that can be just generally applied to any kind of adoption, whether it's to do with starting a new school, whether it's adopting a new program, or or it's adopting a new AI digital tool. 
So I hope that you find this model useful. And it's so important that we validate that it's okay to be in survival mode and it's okay to be in strive mode and that we're constantly in a cycle. Thank you so much for joining me this week. And I really hope to see you next time.